Hey guys, Jambo Comics. Welcome back to the comic book room. Got some great jungle stuff to show you today. A couple of books I got off the old interweb and eBay. I'll be glad to share those with you. And a bit of a rant about one of those books. And I promise I won't go off too long and waste too much of your time. And just a few other books that I picked up at a local comic shop and uh, some things that I thoroughly enjoy like this. Sheena number four uh, of Fatal Exam. And this is a beautiful Perillo cover. Uh, nice nude Sheena on the cover. I couldn't pass that up. You know, old Jambo likes these jungle girls and can't pass up Sheena there. So looking very cool. Was digging that. Not, not the snake so much, but yeah, Sheena. Very cool number four. And a few other books I got out of the old dollar bin like this Avengers number 174 with the collector and I think that's a Perez cover just good stuff this is a nice little run that Perez did on this uh, Avengers at the time and enjoyed reading that got this and uh, Miss Mystic number six I think that's a Neil Adams cover so glad to grab that up for one dollar Pretty cool. And if you see the old superheroes and super gorillas battling, you got to get that for a dollar, right? First issue. I mean, it's a double size DC special. And uh, yeah, just gorillas goes with the jungle theme, right? Super gorillas fighting superheroes. Very cool. And I got this, Invaders number four, with a Jack Kirby cover. And yeah, it's only $1. A lot of action there. These were fun to read back in the day. So very cool. And how about some Charlton action? This is uh, number eight of the Monster Hunters. And I think that's a Sutton cover, I believe. But uh, yeah, just really cool for $1. And pass that up and got some planet of the apes adventures on the planet of the apes number 11 i think this is the last part of the uh, beneath the planet of the apes story and uh, just a very cool little run the movies were fantastic and yeah those were fun to read i remember being big time into planet of the apes back in the day so yeah i loved getting those this one I thought was really funny. It's like Barney the Dinosaur has eight Superboy there. <laughs> Barney gone bad. Barney the Dinosaur, purple dinosaur there. Munching on Superboy. So that's pretty cool. Silver Age action there. Adventure Comics number 380. $1. Couldn't leave that behind. And what about old Rip Hunter, Time Master? Uh, this is number 20. Looks like he's hooking up with old Hitler there. This was only a dollar, so yeah. Just good wacky Silver Age stuff there from DC. So pretty cool. Got this. I think I gave five or six bucks for this. I don't remember. remember. Uh, it's number 35, and some people say this is the first appearance of the Defenders, but uh, I still think it is... Um, Marvel feature number one, but uh, yeah, this, this was a great story, and I enjoyed seeing all the Defenders there and the Avengers, but this is pre-Defenders, and still a great story, though. It was a little rough, had a little wear on the spine there, that's why it was only five or six bucks, but still a good read, and okay, this is one of the books I got off the eBay, and uh, some nice bondage tiger girl there on the cover of it by maurice whitman and i got it really cheap i think i gave like 10 bucks for it uh, the spine is really roached out there you can see it's got a piece missing and everything but still nonetheless a great maurice whitman bondage cover on fight comics and this is number 73 and uh yeah i think it's from 1948 i didn't put the date on there but uh yeah there's some great stuff there Fiction House Goodness for Old Jambo at a good price. Love to read these. Love these covers, man. 
Maurice Whitman, one of my favorites. And finally, guys, yeah, this is the package, and I'm going to cover the seller's name up because he didn't do anything wrong. He sent the package, and uh, it was packaged well, and I got it. It was in good shape, and, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. Good shape. The only thing he did wrong was he sent it to media mail, and therefore, it probably took the slow route. Um, it started from Rockford, Illinois, okay, and then it went from there to Louisville, Kentucky, which is great, and then it made it to Lexington, Kentucky, a day before I was watching it with the tracking number, okay, and so it made it to Lexington. That's about 12 miles from old Jambo's house, so I thought, oh, great, I'll get it the next day, right, which would have been like a day early, so uh, I thought that was fantastic. So the next day, nothing happened, and I looked. It was still shown in Lexington, Kentucky, on the tracking, and so I looked the day after that, and it wasn't in Lexington, Kentucky anymore, but it wasn't in Winchester, where old Jambo lives either, because they had sent it to California. So it went from Lexington all the way out to the West Coast, California, and it stayed out there for about three more days. And then they started shipping it back. And it went to Cincinnati. And then finally made it to Winchester. And finally to my house. About, oh, about five or six days. Probably about six days after it was in Lexington. So why they sent it out to California, I couldn't tell you. Uh, that's my big question, you guys. If you understand the old U.S. mail and why they do the things they do, maybe you can explain it to old Jambo and help me understand what the big deal was there. But anyway, this is the book I got. And let me show you guys because I was pretty concerned about it. And, you know, it was just one I was looking for, right? It's Jumbo Comics number 41 for Jambo's jumbo comics run and i mean i didn't give a fortune for it i gave like a hundred bucks i think for it maybe a little over a hundred but uh just a great old dan zelnerwich cover you can see it there sheena and bondage a rare bondage cover with sheena being tied up and just some fantastic artwork i mean look at that number 41 a fantastic goodie right there. This is from 1942. Uh, like I said, Zollnerwich cover. And July of 1942. And it's got some great skulls down there. Sheena being held by the elephant. Old Bob coming in to save the day there for once. For a change, right? And saving Sheena. And Sheena in bondage. A beautiful cover. Fantastic and really nice shape. Only thing wrong with this one was it had a little tape over here and some minor chipping along the edge there. But uh, for a book about 80 years old, that's okay. I'll take that. And uh, just glad to add that to the collection. That is my rant. I just don't understand the post office sometimes and why they think do the things they do. And... It could have been a lot simpler and seemed like it could have saved everybody a lot of time and money if they just sent it from Lexington to Winchester a few miles down the road instead of sending it all the way back out to California. So don't understand that, but I did get it and it arrived in good shape. And uh, yeah, glad I did finally get it. Fantastic book. And that is it, guys. That is a haul. That is my rant. See, I told you it wasn't that bad. <laughs> so, do me a favor. Hit that thumbs up for old Jambo, Jambo, if you would, please. Thumbs up. And leave me a comment. Like talking to you guys. Always enjoy that. And uh, subscribe if you haven't done that already. Uh, always enjoy getting on and seeing I've got some new subscribers. And uh, I usually won't sub people back that have no followers. Uh, but... Um, you know, I don't know, it seems like if they've been on YouTube for a few years and they don't have any 
subscribers, then they're probably not wanting to be bothered with people. So I don't subscribe to them, but everybody else that subscribes to the channel, uh, if you're a content maker, I will sub you back. And I greatly appreciate everybody that takes the time to watch Jambo's channel. I enjoy making videos for you guys. And you know, as the beautiful Joy Harmon says, why she says, subscribe. Thank you guys. Really appreciate you.